This is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Let's look at five lifestyle changes that can actually increase longevity. It didn't take me long to realize that the old saying, you are what you eat, is true. I especially feel that it holds truer for me than it does most people. Did you also know that what you eat increases your longevity? In the United States, we tend to eat the typical standard American or Western diet, which is defined as a diet high in sugar, processed foods, and saturated fats, but low in fruits, vegetables, and fiber. But a recent study revealed that simple lifestyle changes or swaps could actually increase our longevity. According to this study in Science Daily, a young adult in the United States could add more than a decade to their life expectancy by simply changing their diet from a typical standard American diet to an optimized diet that includes more fruits and vegetables, whole grains and nuts, and less red meat and processed meat. Even older folks my age, 65 and above, can make gains to their longevity too. For these older folks like me, another study in Science Daily found that high polyphenol intake is associated with a 30% less reduction in mortality. For us old folks, that's great. Polyphenols are found in plants and they are all around us in plain sight. So here are the five lifestyle changes or swaps that can increase your and my longevity. Number one, just like you might think, eat fruits and vegetables as snacks instead of high carb junk foods and sweets. Fruits and vegetables contain phytonutrients and antioxidants, which both help us to fight cancer and many diseases. They are both low in calories and high in nutrients, whereas potato chips and Little Debbie's, my favorite growing up, are high in calories and low in nutrients. We need to get the bang for our bucks, the most nutrients for every calorie we eat. Number two, simply drink water, herbal teas, some fruit drinks instead of sodas and high sugar drinks. There is no better nutrient than plain H2O on the rocks to hydrate your body. You can squeeze a bit of lemon or lime in your water and this actually increases hydration and adds just a dash of flavor. Herbal teas and teas such as green tea actually contain polyphenols and many other plant chemicals. For example, raspberry tea is made from the leaves of the raspberry plant. Drinking raspberry tea can boost your immune system, lower inflammation, improve heart function, and support healthy blood pressure. I tend to use stevia to sweeten my teas, which doesn't up my blood sugar. Sodas, unfortunately, spike your blood sugar, can contain caffeine, which dehydrates, and they acidify your body, which increases inflammation and many other issues. Number three, eat more wild-caught fish, organic meats, and plant-based sources of protein rather than processed and red meats. Protein is the backbone of our immune system and like Goldilocks, we want to get just enough, but not too much. We want to vary the sources and stay away from processed meats and limit red meats. Ask any heart doctor or ask the Mayo Clinic about the benefits of eating more plants and lessening your processed and red meats. You see, both of these contribute to heart disease and strokes. Number four, eat 
whole grains over processed grains. Boy, did I learn this in the cancer journey. Our bodies were simply created by God to eat whole foods, not processed foods. We need this necessary fiber in all that it offers our body. This means eating brown rice over white rice and whole wheat bread over white bread, whole wheat flour over white flour. You get the idea. Whole grains contain the entire grain kernel, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. Refined or processed grains have been milled, a process that removes the bran and the germ. This is done to give grains a finer texture, as you know, and improve their shelf life. But it also removes dietary fiber, iron, and B vitamins. Even the Mayo Clinic recommends a shift towards whole grains and more plants. Last but not least, number five, use spices and herbs to flavor your food instead of table salt. Spices and herbs contain many plant chemicals that promote healing in our bodies. When a recipe calls for a tablespoon of parsley, this gal gets fresh parsley and adds two to three times the amount. Cilantro is a natural detoxifier that I add fresh to my Mexican chicken soup recipe. I rarely use salt and when I do, I use pink Himalayan or gray Celtic salt. In simple, let's just be honest, the more plants we eat, the longer we will live. Plants include fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, legumes and beans, and herbs and spices. Many fruits such as blueberries and apples actually enhance the endothelial lining of your blood vessels, which is a key to living longer. But all plants have cancer and disease fighting chemicals and they build our immune system, nourish our gut and provide high nutrients again with low calories. These five lifestyle changes or swaps are easy and they're doable. They can extend your life while enhancing your health. I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it with those you love, and click the notification bell so you will know when I post new information. Until next time, here's my H2O on the rocks, and here's to your health. God bless.